Jeff is very much on the side uh, of uh, his reporters and anchors. Uh, and um, th- that's not to say that, that he doesn't get involved if he thinks people are going too far. Uh, and um, But I, I will say that um, I, he's never said that to me. And when I talk about or think about, you know, saying something on air about something going on in the Russia investigation or whatever, something that is an analysis um, that takes a, a position in favor of truth and, and decency, uh, I share it with him ahead of time. Um, but, uh, I mean, he, I, he has given us a lot of room to um, to give voice to, to those of us who are trying to defend, um, you know, the free press, facts, truth, basic adult decent behavior. Um, and uh, when the president attacked me uh, a week or two ago, um, you know, it's funny. Uh, I, honestly, it was not even a ripple at CNN when the president – I don't even know if he wrote that tweet, to be honest. Um, it was right after Stephen Miller came on the show, and I ended the interview by telling him he was he was performing for an audience of one and was being a, a, an obsequious factotum. Um but then the president attacked me on Twitter. But it, it it's so commonplace now that I, it didn't even permeate my shell. I mean, it was just okay. Yeah, the president attacked me on Twitter. His son attacked me uh, yesterday too. And look, the important thing is um, uh, we rise to this moment. We don't we don't get down in the dirt. You know, I, I'm I've been reading a lot about uh, the McCarthy era uh, because I'm writing a novel that comes out in April. It takes place in, it's a Washington thriller, it takes place in 1954, and I've been reading a lot about the McCarthy era, and one of the things that comes through in that era is some people rose to the moment and some people did not. Some reporters and uh, politicians rose to the moment and some did not, and ultimately history has the final